Hello everyone, today I'm going to be bringing you a quick tutorial on how to merge or blend or combine multiple GIFs into one. Now this is something I just learned and I just wanted to make a recording so this may be useful for somebody else. I wish I'd had this tutorial for me. Anyway, I'm going to go to file, open and search for a particular gift. And here I have a multiple GIFs of people dancing and I'm gonna pick uh, the guy from Blue's Clues. I don't remember his name, I just remember watching Blue's Clues when I was a kid. Anyway, there he is, he's dancing. And we wanna know how big is this GIF. So we're going to go to Image, Canvas Size, change, change that from centimeters to pixels so we can see how big it is. So that's 200 by 300 and something. And we need to know this so we can have a big enough canvas to blend all these GIFs together. So then we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to open up a new project and make it 600 by 400. That should give us enough space to blend all the GIFs together. Next we're going to go to Layer, uh, create a new one. This is because I want my GIFs to be transparent, so I'm going to hide the bottom layer. This is just so I have the transparent effect. Now, we're going to transfer this GIF into the second canvas. So, left click on the first frame, go to the very, to the very end, shift left click, and on top there, you're going to see this little thing, click it, and go to copy frames. Now, all the frames are going to be copied, so go to the second canvas, click on the thing again, and paste frames. Now this doesn't matter, I don't think it have, has any bearing on anything, so just click OK. And we're going to see that the GIF is now transferred onto the second canvas. Uh, there you go, there he is dancing. Now we're going to try to move him, just so he's not in the middle of the GIF or somewhere that's not where we want him. So we're going to go to layers on the right side, go to the very bottom, click on the first frame where you see him, and then go to the very top, shift, left click, and all the layers are going to be selected again. Right click, transform, and now we're going to be able to move them and change his size and everything else. So there you see that he moved and every single layer moved with him. So that's how we know we can uh, move him wherever we want. There we go. I think I'm going to put him right here. And press enter. And see he, how he goes. There you go. There he is dancing again. Uh, I think he clips a little bit to the right side. So I'm going to have to move him again. Yeah, there he's clipping. Okay, so free transform again. Moving a little bit to the left. Press enter and see. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good enough. So now that we have that, we're going to go to File, Open, and look for our second gift. And we're going to use <laughs> the chicken dance guy from the KFC commercial. And now we're going to see how many frames this gift has. Wow, it has a crap ton. It has a lot more than the last one. I think uh, 33 was the last gift, so we're going to copy 33 frames in this gift. And let's see, um, since we have a lot of leeway, I'm going to choose from which frame the gift starts when I transfer it. I think, um, let me check this. Number 9 is, I think, I think I want to put it on. Let's go back. Pick number 9, click it once, and then um, 33 plus 9 it's 42, I think. Alright, let's go. Look for, for the 42nd frame. Okay, there we go. Left click, go back, shift, left click, then they're all selected. We're gonna repeat, go. Copy frames, put the second canvas, just gonna move it here just so I know you know that that's the project I'm working on. Now before we paste them, 
we have to make sure every single frame is selected. So go to the first frame and go to the last frame, shift click. Now that they're all selected, we can paste them. So go to the little thing, paste frames. And this time it is important to select paste over selection. And now they're both, both combined. You can see both of them playing simultaneously. Now, if we want to move the chicken guy, I'm going to go to the right side and select the first layer where you see him, only him. Go to the very top, shift left click, then right click on the dude, free transform. And now we can move him and choose his size and whatever else. Let's see. Yeah, right about then. So press enter and let's play again. There we go. There we see them dancing together. And I think uh, Blue's Clues Man's a little bit taller. I'm going to move Blue's Clues Man again. So I'm going to go to the very bottom, the first layer I see him in. Then look for the last layer I see him in. Shift left click. Then we right click him, free transform. And now I can put him where he is the same height as Chicken Dance Man. Uh, I think that's it. Press enter. And let's play it again. See how it looks. There we go. Yeah, right about the same size. Alrighty. And now that we're done with these two, I'm going to choose another one. Profile. Open. Choose another gift. Let me see. Uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. So now we have this one. And this one, you'll notice, has only 25 frames. It's too short, so it's going to cut off before the other ones. So what I'm going to do it's uh, look at the last frame and look at his stand look how he looks and I'm going to look for another frame where he looks the same so just go look for one that looks very similar I think that was the most similar so 25 frames and we needed it to be 30, 33 so that's 8 frames so now I'm going to select the 8 frames that we need Go to the little thing again, copy frames, go to the very last frame, click on it, and paste frames. In this one we're going to put paste after selection, so we can add the frames to the gift. There we go, the frames are added, and we're going to play it again, and see there is barely any discrepancy in the gift. And you just have to make sure that the frames that you're adding blends into the gift. So now that the gift is the same frames as the other ones, we're going to select them all, just like we did before. Copy frames. So let me just move this uh, to the very thing. I'm sorry, I just liked it to be at the very end. So here we go. Click all the frames again, go to the very first, go to the very last, shift, left click, paste frames. And then we have to change it again. Paste over selection. There you go. So we're going to do the, thing, the same thing we did before. Get the very first layer where you see it, the, the very last layer, shift left click so you can select it all. And let me just make sure we're even in frames that everything... Oh, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> I guess I did math wrong and Chicken Dance Guy has one more frame. Let me just delete that. Okay, so now that we're sure that everyone has 33 frames, I'm going to move Chandler from friends. Right click, free transform, move him up, okay, now, there we go, and get this thing back in here, there it is, so move him up a little bit, so he's top center, press enter, and press play again, see how it looks, there we go, there they are all three of them dancing, and there is no, there is almost no discrepancy. It looks very smooth, doesn't it? So now that we have all of them dancing, we're going to save this. Go to file, save for web, because that's how we save a gift. And um, just use the default settings. I'm doing something else because I need my gift to be specifically done away. So that's why I'm changing this little option right here. Other than that, you just need to save it with the uh, default settings. So just save the gift. There we go. And now that's it.
you we got that little gift let me let me play it there it is it's done so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and i'll see you later i guess